My dear students, welcome to week seven that extends from April 14th till April 18th. Um, we're going to kick out this week with an explicit. Um, you're going to set goals, prioritize tasks, and manage time effectively to achieve personal and academic success. Our word will include set goals, prioritize tasks, manage time, achieve personal academic success, and explicit. You're going to watch a video about setting goals. Then you're going to work in groups to choose a topic to research about and make a clear plan to follow. Let's say impact of deforestation on wildfire or wildlife, water pollution, its effect on aquatic life, urbanization, climate change, and so on. This plan must include team members, topic chosen, a mind map of what you will include in your research, tasks for each member, clear steps in, in the format of points to complete the research. Uh, you can do this either on a Word document or on a poster. After that, you're going to watch a video about setting goals, prioritizing tasks, and managing, managing time effectively to achieve personal and academic success. You will have another interactive activity and a further practice. And for the challenging question, how can we effectively balance the needs of human development and economic growth with the imperative to conserve biodiversity and protect ecosystem health for future generations? A self-assessment quiz, and now you need to write your research. In lesson two, we will have another explicit, which is research. You're going to formulate research questions related to human interaction with the ecosystem, and you need to draft your research. Our word wall includes ecosystem, biodiversity, conservation, deforestation, urbanization, food chain, quality. First, you're going to watch a video about how to develop a strong research question, and then you will have another interactive activity related to that. Then you're going to watch how to rewrite a research paper, and you will have another interactive activity related to that. Further practice, and for the challenging question, write the features of an interesting research question a self-assessment, and now I'd like you to evaluate the resources that you use. Are they primary or secondary? For lesson three, you're going to analyze and evaluate the information to make well-reasoned judgments and decisions. You're going to have a word wall consisting of analysis, evaluation, critical thinking, reasoning, judgment, decision-making, logical, rational. You're going to watch a video about evaluating a sources, uh, reasoning and evidence. You will have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to watch a video about scavenger hunt, and then in groups you're going to search for the following. A book on ecosystem, a newspaper or article uh, discussing pollution, a printed map of Jordan, a website cont containing reliable information on planet Earth, a video tutorial explaining reduce, reuse, recycle, a social media post sharing information about environmental initiatives. You're going to write all of that on a shared document with your group. Further practice and for the challenging question, how can individuals discern between reliable and unreliable sources of information in an era of abundant digital content? And what strategies can be employed to ensure that the information they, ex they, access, uh, they uh, access is accurate, credible, and unbiased? A self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I'd like you to evaluate if the sources you found are primary or secondary after watching the video below. For lesson four, we're going to delve into poetry again. We're going to read and annotate poetry. Our word wall includes poetry, literary devices, sound devices, figurative language, theme, and rhyme. We're going to watch a video about nature is what we see and have an interactive activity related to that. Then you're going to watch a video about the sparrow, the sparrow uh, poem, and uh, individually you're going to write a poem about nature. You can write about earth, any animal of your choice, plants, or even pollution. Uh, you will have a link that is going to give you tips on how to write a poem. After that, you will have further practice. And in your opinion, why did Emily Dickinson write Nature is what we see? Write the answer in your notebook. A self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to compare and contrast between the sparrow and nature as what we see, poems using Venn diagram. Lesson five is going to be a 
media analysis. We're going to look at images and determine who or what is portrayed. We're going to note the elements of each image and find interesting uh, and what would you like to revisit. We're going to connect the details in the images into other media you've experienced, text you've read, or images you've viewed. Uh, you're going to respond by completing the comprehension check. The comprehension check. Our word wall includes monochrome, vantage point, documentary, uh, photography. You're going to watch a video about uh, bald eagle rehabilitation and tracking, and you will have an interactive activity related to that. Then you're going to watch another video about fallen by pond film for the nature's conservancy, uh, conservancy for an air cam in HD. Then you're going to present and discuss. We're going to choose a photo and caption that you found most interesting or formative and share your choice with your group and discuss why you chose it. Explain what you noticed in the photo and, uh, and caption, what question it raised for you and what conclusion you reached about it. The second part is how does eagle tracking at Fallen Spawn contribute to your understanding of how humans treat the environment? Write the answers in two groups. Further explanation, a self-assessment, and the challenging question is going to be a research. Research and write a, a short research paper on one of the following topics. Eagle restoration and tracking programs in states, res restoration and tracking programs for other endangered species, the origins and history of the Endangered Species Act. In your paper, highlight the relationship between the topic you choose to research and the photo gallery eagle tracking at Fallen's by uh, Pond. For what to do tomorrow, I'd like you to gather pictures of bald eagles and make your own photo gallery. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect. Peace out.